Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a guide on how to grow grass and hay in Farming Simulator 22, and this will apply to seasons as well if you're playing with seasons turned on. So um, we're going to break this down into step by step. If you're just looking for a specific step down below in the YouTube slider bar, you should be able to skip ahead to whatever point you need or want to go to. So first things first, we need to do the field prep stage. So make sure the field has either been cultivated or plowed. Ensure that plowing is not required if playing with periodic plowing turned on. You will not have to plow every three harvests like you might have had to in FS19. So if we take a look at that, let's talk about that for a second. So plowing, if we go down to our game settings, if you are playing with plowing right here, periodic plowing turn to on, which we are, then we need to go to our map, go over to soil composition, and we need to make sure that the field is not red. So needs plowing, you can see in all those different fields, needs plowing there. Our field 33, which we're working on, does not need it. So we don't have to worry about it since it's taken care of. Now, if you do not have plowing turned on, so you're not playing with periodic plowing, or it doesn't require plowing, and you have a direct drill seeder, you can skip the field prep step. And we'll talk about that as we continue. Now, the next thing after field prep is taking care of the lime for the field. So if lime required is turned on, you need to apply lime using a spreader. You'll need to do this every three harvests to increase your yield by 15%. So inside of the store, um, you can use lime from a big bag like these here, or, or excuse me, and then you'll need to put it into a uh, lime spreader. Any of these in here that have this icon down there, this limestone icon. So these two here in game, this one will not do it. Uh, you can use those to spread lime on your field. Now, um, if you have it turned off, so again, if we go back to our game settings here, if you're playing down here, if we have, uh, where are we at? Lime required turn to off. If that was off, then we wouldn't have to worry about that. Now, how do you know if your field needs lime? Well, uh, if we turn all that off in here, this kind of bluish green texture here, or this color here, if that is on your field, your field is highlighted with that, you do need to apply lime if you're playing with lime required. Um, if it is green and you're not playing with lime required on, then you don't have to worry about it. It's not gonna affect your yield. Uh, so ours doesn't need lime. We're good to go, so we don't have to worry about that. Now, after we get that taken care of, we need to talk about getting our field actually planted and seeded with some grass. All right, so first things first, we need to get a seeder that's gonna actually plant our grass, which I'm gonna grab this one right here. This is one I purchased here, and I have some big bags of seed out here, which I will be able to load into my seeder if I pull up next to it and then hit the R key on PC. Now, if we go into the store, the seeder I'm using, we need to make sure we have one. We either need to buy one or at least one that is actually going to work for planting grass. So if we go under seeders here, um, all of these guys down at the bottom will have the seed icon. Now, we did talk a little bit about direct drill. So what does a direct drill look like? Well, if you look up here at the top in the description, if it says additionally, the seeder offers the possibility to seed directly, no previous cultivating or plowing is necessary. If it says that, you can skip the field prep stage, kind of like we talked about earlier. So we have this direct drill, this one, this one, um, and then these two are not. So you can see those ones are not, uh, but I believe those are just the three that are available in base game is those three direct drills there. Um, so if you wanted to use a direct drill, you can do that and go about it that way. Now to purchase seed, you can either purchase it in the form of big bags in here. Uh, there's pallets in here, pallets in here, um, various ways to buy seed. There's the seed pallets right there. So that's how you would purchase seed. Now, if you look down there, we're gonna go ahead and we'll grab some of this pallet or the, some of this bag of seed here. There we go, got 100% seed. Now, if you look down there at the bottom right-hand corner, it says wheat on there. So as we're driving over here, we want to hit the Y key to select over. You can see the crop type is changing until we get to grass right there. We want that icon down there at the bottom. So once we get to that, that's how we know we're good to go as far as planting grass goes. Now, the next thing we need to do is simply seed the field. So we just have to go over here and seed it. Now, if you are playing with seasons on, everything else is going to be the same except for the time you plant and harvest grass. So if we go into the menu here, we don't have our season's growth turned on right now. So we're going to go down here. And turn it on just for a second. Now also, by the way, make sure you don't have this turned to pause, otherwise your grass will not grow, nor will anything else grow. But if we have that turned to yes, go up here, you scroll down to grass. This green section through grass is where you're gonna wanna plant. So you can plant in Jan or excuse me, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, and November. You cannot plant in December, January, February. Now, if we talk about the harvest season for grass, it is all year round. You can harvest whenever it is ready to harvest. And we'll talk about that as we get into that. Um, so now what I'm gonna do, now that I have grass good to go, I'm gonna go ahead and I can hire a worker to do this here. To have them simply plant my field for me. There we go. Now you see down there, we're not losing any seed. So um, what that is, if we go into our settings here, go down to game settings at the bottom, helper refill is for seeds is set to buy. So that means the helper is buying the seeds instead of using seeds we provide. You can do that if you wanna make it easier for you. I recommend turning this off because the helper charges a lot for seeds. So just something to be aware of. But now you can see down there bottom right hand corner, they are going through our seeds the way they should, so we don't have to worry. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this field planted and I'll bring you guys back in when it's time to talk about the next step. 
All right, now that we have our field planted with grass, we need to make sure this thing is fertilized. So we can either use solid fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, manure, slurry, or digestate uh, to make sure this thing has two fertilizer states. If we go into the map here, we need to go up to, actually, we need to turn seasons back off here. We'll turn seasons to no. But if we go back up here, we need to turn this on to see where it's at fertilization wise. This, you can see, has two fertilizer states down here. If we look at 30 and 1 and 30, um, or 30 and 31 here, 30 has two fertilizer states, that dark blue, and then 31 only has one fertilizer state. So this has two on it, 32 would have none, but we have two, so we're good to go. We don't have to worry about that. But you want to make sure it has two states of 30 fertilizer on there um, to make sure you get the highest yield. That'll bump your yield up by a total of 45%. So. Um, as far as fertilizing goes, um, you can use either this for one of these guys for solid fertilizer, a sprayer for liquid fertilizer, or you can use a manure spreader for manure, uh, or a slurry tank for slurry spreading, or digestate spreading for that matter. You can do a double application of manure or slurry or digestate where you're putting down basically two fertilizer states at the same time. Um, you cannot do that with these guys. After you put down a fertilizer state, you need to wait until it goes into the next growth style cycle, which will be the next month, and then you can place down another layer of fertilizer on it. But since this guy is good to go, now we just have to wait for this to uh, be ready to harvest. So I'll bring you guys back in when it is time for that. All right, it is now ready to harvest. It takes grass only two days to be fully ready to harvest. Now I have heard from people that have commented that you need to wait an extra couple of days to get a higher yield off of it. Um, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is just take a little bit of time here. We're gonna fast forward a couple states in a second after I talk about a couple things. So first off, we know in seasons you can harvest all year round, so we don't have to worry about when we're harvesting as far as that goes. We will talk about how to harvest in just a second, but if we go into our map here, you can see ready to harvest, well, it doesn't say anything on our field. The reason being is if we go back over to our crop types, grass is by default turned off. So you need to click it to turn it on, then we go back over here and now we can see ready to harvest. So you can see that ready to harvest state there. Now on FS19, there was three states of ready to harvest and you knew you needed to wait until it got to the third stage or the darkest shade of orange to be ready to harvest. So we'll go ahead and we're just gonna speed up time here. We're gonna go through another couple of days here just to see if anything changes as far as the visuals on it go. Doesn't appear to be anything there. We'll wait another day here. Yep, I didn't really see a big change on it. Again, I can't tell you if it did or not. I will do testing in the future to test the yield on that. But after we are good to go and ready to harvest, we need to use a mower to cut grass. So if we go in the store, you can either use a mower located under mowers here, one of these guys, which can be moved with a tractor, or we can go under the equipment shop here and go to mowers, and we have one of these self-propelled ones we're gonna, we can use here. Now, some mowers have the ability to windrow and to widespread. This one has that ability. What windrowing and widespread means is one will spread the grass out further out, and one will put it in a single row for you to collect. And I will show that as well as we go through it. Um, some of these mowers in here will do that as well, or at least some of them should do that. Actually, yeah, this I think it just might be this one here at the end. These guys, uh, this one will give you the ability to widespread. Now, a lot of these mower setups, this would be one that you would have at the back of your tractor, but if you only had this at the back, it would leave a center area where it wouldn't mow, so you'd want this one to be at the front of your tractor to go ahead and take care of the rest of it. But if we go ahead and hop in our mower here, we'll hop in this guy, and I'll show you the difference between widespreading and um, swath dropping. Now this one actually has a couple extra modes as well, but if you look down there in the bottom of the help menu there, I'll we'll unfold this guy here. It says widespreading down there at selected work mode. So if I lower the mower by hitting V and B to turn it on, that is what the widespreading is going to look like. It's gonna look like that right there. Now, if I turn it off, we go over here and we do a row back down this way. If I hit left control Y, which you can see up there to toggle work mode, I have swath dropping. I also have left swath and right swath, but we're gonna go back to swath dropping. What left swath and right swath does basically does what we see over there, except it won't do one side or the other. So now if I turn it on and go straight forward, it leaves me a swath right down the middle. It puts everything into the middle for me to make it easier to work with. So those are the differences between the swath dropping and otherwise. But at that point, that is all I need to worry about as far as getting this ready to harvest. You can see we have two harvested states there. Um, and now another thing to go back to, grass will regrow. And after you put the two fertilizer states on it the first time, you only have to fertilize it once each time after that. So you can see here, it's already in that, that, that first stage. And it will remain in that stage, so you just want to throw another state of fertilizer on there to keep the yield uh, high for the grass. So that's that's one nice thing about grass, and it does, again, it does regrow. Now, we do have grass here. We're going to talk about hay as well, but we do have grass here. So we're going to talk about how we can pick up the grass. Now, if you are using a mower that doesn't do swath dropping, 
I highly encouraging I highly encourage you to go over this with a windrower, which is found in the store here under windrowers. One of these guys through here. We have a big one um, out and about this guy right here. But what it does is it will take the grass and it essentially will put it into a windrow of various sizes. So it'll put it into a windrow like this for you. Um, that way it's easier to pick up and deal with. So I recommend doing that if you have mowers that will only widespread or won't be able to swath drop for you if you're doing grass work. Now, um, what we need to do now with the grass is we need to somehow pick it up or deal with it. So there's a couple things to go about that. Now, if we go back here, I do have a couple ways we can pick up grass. So we have either a uh, baler option or we have a uh, basically a pickup wagon here, or a loading wagon here. So baler, this will bale the grass for you. And this here will just pick the grass up so you have bulk grass instead of grass bales. Now, if we go in the store, there's a couple things to talk about. Forage wagons here, these guys are just going to pick the grass up off the ground for you. So easy peasy. Nothing more to it. You just get them. It'll pick it up off the ground for you. You're good to go. Obviously, it's easier when it's in a windrow because you can, you can get more of it at one time. So now if we go to balers, all of these balers will bale grass. But one thing to note is if you have a baler like the one we have outside, if it has a wrapper on the back like this, it will not give you grass bales. It will wrap them into silage bales. So you can't get grass bales from these guys. You need to have a mower that doesn't have that on the back. Uh, for example, like this guy right here, which does not have a wrapper on the back. So this will give you grass bales. So just something to be aware of, but that's how you'd get grass. Now, if we want to get hay out of this, we have to tet it. That's the only thing that's different. We have to use something like this guy right here, which I'll show you. This is found in the store, a tetter. You have to use a tetter, which what it does is it basically turns the grass and dries it into hay. So. If we hop in this guy, you'll see that as we go over the grass, it will change color as it gets tetted. So I'm going to lower this down. As we get close here, I'll go ahead and turn it on. Now you can see the change in the grass. There you go. You can see it kind of has that lighter color there. And I love the animation on the back of that. But if I lift it up, turn it off. There you go. You can see the difference in the color there for what it does. So you can see grass at the top and then hay at the bottom. So hay kind of has that lighter color. Now, same thing with hay, you can either bale it or you can pick it up with a loading wagon. So that is your option. Now, if you do bale hay with one of these balers, one of the balers that has the wrapper on the back, like for example, this one, if I did bale hay with this one, it would not wrap it. It will not wrap it into silage bales. It will still give you hay bales. It'll just come out here and bypass the uh, wrapper on the back. So that is everything about hay right there for you. Now, I do wanna demonstrate um, a couple pieces of equipment as well here for you, um, just to wrap it up. So that's everything you know about hay and grass and getting it produced. So if you don't wanna see this part, then you don't need to see it, but I'm gonna go and demonstrate. So if I wanted to take this hay now and put it into a windrow, I can use this windrower, which will go over it like this. And you can see right there, it compiles it into one easy to use row, just like that. I can keep going here. It's not going to really like them mixing, so it's going to keep them separate there, the grass and hay. But there you go. You can see I just put it into a windrow for us. Now, if I hop over here, we'll hop in our bale wrapper here, which actually we may not even have enough to uh, pick up a full bale of grass, but we'll try. We'll see if we have enough out and about. Well, if I lower the pickup, hit B to turn it on, what I can do is start driving over the grass here. And again, it's going to wrap it into a silage bale for us. Oh, yeah, we should be able to get a full bale out of this potentially even if we use some of our other row there nope there we go so once you get 100 percent it'll stop picking up grass so you'll have to stop when it does that and it's going to unload the grass bale out the back and it will automatically so it should wrap like that i don't know why i put a little break in there it was doing something weird it kicked out a grass bale which was a little odd um so i'm not sure why it did that but it should <laughs> wrap the bales automatically if they're set to grass uh so very odd there now, next thing we'll take a look at here real quick before we wrap things up is this guy right here, which is a loading wagon. So again, you can see if I hit V, that'll lower down that pickup in the front. I should lower it down. Maybe not. Nothing's working anymore. Oh, we got to unfold it. That would be why. There we go. Unfold it, then hit V to lower it down. V to turn it on. And again, we can pick up grass or hay. So if I start going over the hay here, you can see down in the bottom right-hand corner, it has the icon for hay, and we're picking it up. Now, if I start going over grass... It will switch over to grass if you don't have enough hay in there. So be aware of that. You will lose all your hay if you do it that way. But there you go. That is everything you need to know about grass and hay. You can use grass and hay for either feeding animals or you can sell it. If we go into the store here, go down here, we have grass and hay, which can be sold. So there you go. That is everything you need to know. Um, I will cover more information about silage bales and silage in a future video. So stay tuned for that. Anyhow, if you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel. Turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.